Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 6 of my Airfix 172nd Shackleton AEW 2 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be carrying on with cleaning up the seams on the fuselage after we use the sprue glue. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There are still a couple of parts of the seam that need some more sprue glue, so we're going to add that here. That can go over there to dry. Next up we have the inboard nacelles, which need cleaning up. And what a pair of sods these were to sort out. The seams kept popping, it wouldn't fit right. Oh, I had an absolute nightmare with them, but we eventually got them sorted. Just not the light. It'll move soon, don't worry. There's the initial clean up on those done. The worst is still to come, trust me. Next up is the inboard nacelles. Remember that huge lip we had? Well, we're going to use some perfect putty on it. So, here we go with that. There we have the outboard and cells putted up. They now need to dry. Next, we're going to be sorting out the canopy glass and the instrument panel that goes inside it. So here we go with that. Now for the front and rear glass. Yet again, another squirrel moment. We're cleaning up a bit of sprue glue in the middle of sorting out the large glass pieces. Good Lord, I need to sort my shit out and decide what I'm doing. Are my cleaning seams? Scribing? Fitting canopy glass? Who knows? Looks like I'm back to scene bashing.
that's those all cleaned up and done. Just need to prime them to see if there are any seam lines to resolve. Now to sort out the inboard nacelles. Top part of it looks a little too proud, so it needs a tad fettling. So here we go with that. Now to fit the inboard nacelles. This is where everything went to ratchet. You'll see by the number of clamps I needed. So here we go with this. There's the first split. Somebody pass the bodge tape, please. Let's pop that to one side to dry. Next up, some canopy masking. I make my own light box using greaseproof paper a plastic carton and the light from my mobile phone. So here we go with that. There we have my homemade light box ready for masking the cannabis. So to mask them I'm going to be using copy decks which is just the same as all the other ones just a damn sight cheaper. the main canopy done. I'm not going to show the other two parts we did as nothing went wrong and it's a tad boring and it's got a very bright light. So we've left them to dry overnight and now we're going to fix the front and back ones using normal extra thin glue but the cockpit canopy will glue with copy decks as I want to be able to remove it. So let's crack on with that shall we? There we have those fitted, they need to dry now. Next we can finish off fitting the inboard nacelles, so let's crack on with those shall we? So 
see what I mean about clamps? go that's another set of clamps used on it anyway that's those dried this has been overnight now to get on with the cleanup of them so here we go with that There we go, that's all the inboard nacelles cleaned up. All there is left to do is fill the multitude of gaps there. Oh joy. Next, we're going to fit all the windows along the side of the fuselage, so let's crack on with those. I'm using something called glass guard but it's not working as I got glue on the part and marked it but luckily I managed to buff it out with my trusty nail file.
there we have all the glass parts fitted. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 6. If you want to see what happens in episode 7, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.